Would-be robber who went to a plaid pantry store in Oak Grove with a hatchet is still wanted by police tonight. But today we talked with the store clerk who pulled out a gun to try to scare him off last week, and that was a decision that cost him his job. Our Lisa Balick is live in Oak Grove where she talked with that former store clerk. What did he have to stay say, Lisa? Well, he said he would do it again, in fact. This is the store where that all happened. Now that former store clerk is out of a job, but he's getting a lot of support. A lot of heat of the moment and fearing for my life. But. Chris Follis tells me when he said hello as the door opened around 1 a.m. at the store, a man with a ski mask and hoodie headed straight to his counter armed with a hatchet. Follis says he knew he would likely lose his job pulling his gun out of his holster, even with a concealed handgun license. Plaid Pantry has a no weapons policy. He tells me he just reacted to the threat. Good idea, yes, because, I mean, I could have ended up in the hospital, could have ended up any other than walking home. As Follis kept the gun pointed to the ground, he spoke to the would-be robber. I said, really, I'm calling the cops. As he talked to a 911 operator, the man sat on the floor, then suddenly spoke up. He said, I'm sorry, I'll leave, and then sat there for another minute and then finally took off running. Follis did not chase him. Instead, he picked up the hatchet with a plastic bag to preserve the evidence. I contacted Plaid Pantry, based in Beaverton, to find out more about why he was let go. The company president sent a statement saying, it adheres to proven industry best practices, including the policy of no weapons in the store. The company makes significant investments in security equipment and training in robbery deterrence and violence prevention. All employees are trained in these procedures and receive ongoing refresher training. Follis is now job hunting. If you, if you were to do it again, would you have done it the same way? Yeah, I would do it the same way. If it were to happen again, yeah, I would do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Save my life. Now, that would-be robber is still missing. As far as Chris, he was off on a job interview today. Back to you.